Howdy folks, this is Shane. Today we're checking out the PV Studio Pro 112 amplifier. It's the Red Stripe Edition one that I picked up a little while back. I actually picked this one up before I got the Silver Stripe amplifier, but I didn't demo it in any particular order for some reason. So we're doing that today. I'll also do a comparison between both of those amplifiers and I'll share my thoughts on what I hear between them both. I've had a chance to use both of these live and this one is definitely cool and it works pretty well with pedals, I gotta say. So we're gonna check out the clean channel, the drive channel, and also how it sounds with some overdrive as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and all that stuff. Let's get into it. We're on the vintage mode on the clean channel. Let's give this a shot, neck pick up. Over to bridge. Next, split coil mode. and bridge. Cool. Over to the modern mode, we're gonna start on humbucker mode, neck pickup. Modern mode is definitely a whole lot fatter, especially on the low end. I actually prefer modern mode on this amplifier. Usually on the PV Bandit, I'll choose the vintage mode 100% of the time, but on this particular amp, having that extra bit of oomph in the tone is a pretty cool thing. Bridge pick up. Over to bridge pickup now, split coil mode. And neck, split coil. Over to the vintage drive channel of the amp now, we're back on neck pickup on humbucker mode. Volume down on the guitar. Yeah. Bridge. Yeah. Split coil, bridge. And neck. And now with the gain up to one o'clock, back to neck pickup. Let's compare that now 
Let's do some overdrive on the clean channel. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> So to my ear, the overdrive pedal into the clean channel still sounds better than the drive channel, but not by a whole lot. I reckon I could dial in a pretty musical sound from the lead channel. Let's try that again. Back to the lead channel, overdrive pedal off. There's not a lot in it. There's not a lot in it. So uh, clean channel, overdrive pedal. There's something great about a clean channel and an overdrive pedal. Let's go ahead and try the modern setting on the amp now. I don't normally use this, so modern drive channel. It's really, really bass heavy. It's back off the bass, back off the mids a little bit. I gotta be honest, I don't like that at all. It sounds very solid state, unlike the clean channel, and also unlike the vintage drive channel. Over to the high gain mode now, let's get started. So to my ear, the high gain mode sounds so much better than the modern mode. It actually has that full tube-like sound without sort of sounding spiky or kind of solid state. Man, that is huge. Neck pickup. I think I might have found the secret weapon to the Studio Pro 112. This is a setting I've not actually tried until filming this. So I'm actually really, really surprised. The time I took this out live, I tried it on the clean channel with my pedal board and it was awesome. I tried the vintage drive channel and it was good, but not loud enough. But this particular setting sounds way louder, absolutely. So let's go back to the vintage drive channel now. Same volume settings. <laughs> Feels like it's dropped about a third in volume. Back to the high gain mode. Woo, yeah, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. Please let me know your thoughts on the tone of this amplifier in the comments below. I absolutely appreciate that. Now, a few of you might be asking, is this particular amplifier loud enough to gig with? I found the Silver Stripe Studio Pro 112 much louder on the clean channel. It almost feels like it has two extra notches of volume at any particular setting. So say the volume's both at nine o'clock, it sounds like the Studio Pro Silver Stripe actually is much louder than that by at least two notches on the volume control. This particular amp is loud enough to gig with. I've taken it to a couple of jams, but it won't go too overboard in terms of volume. If your band's not getting too carried away in the volume department, it will absolutely do the job but it won't fill a massive room. If you're playing at a pub, it should be okay, or a small bar or something like that, but anything larger where you're not miking up, it can get a little bit lost in the mix. That said, it sort of comes down to how much self-control your band has, what kind of music you're playing, and all that kind of stuff. I would still prefer to use this with my pedals on the clean channel. You get just that little bit more volume push, and it's pretty loud, I gotta say. In a blues sort of band, which is what I'm in, I had no problems keeping up until the end of the night where it started turning into a bit more of a rock and roll fest. So, you know, if we're doing a slow blues or if you're playing shuffles or anything like that, just regular blues kind of stuff, it's definitely going to be fine. My suggestion is if you're playing at a large gig, definitely take a microphone and mic this thing up. It sounds as good as what you're hearing it on this recording and I'm pretty confident, even though I haven't heard it in post, that it's going to sound pretty good. 
For the kind of money that I paid for this amp, I'm absolutely wrapped and I also managed to find the Silver Stripe amp. If you haven't seen that demo, I'll pop that up in the cards. I'll also do a comparison coming out between them both and talk a little bit in more detail about what I'm hearing in the room because there's a clear difference both on the clean channel and on the dirty channel between both of these amps. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Catch you soon. See ya.